Hello students, welcome to my channel, Genial Education. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. In this lecture, we are going to solve problem 1.13, chapter 1, introduction and the uh, first law of thermodynamics from the book Applied Thermodynamics by G.D. Stop and Mikanki. Uh, in this problem uh, 1.13, we have gone that a turbine operating under steady flow conditions receives steam at the following state. It has pressure 13.8 bar, specific volume 0.143 cubic meter per kilogram, specific internal energy 2590 kilojoule per kilogram, velocity is 30 meter per second. The state of the steam leaving the turbine is as follows, which is 0. Point, pressure is 0 0.35 bar, specific volume 4.37 cubic meter per kilogram, specific internal energy 2360 kilojoule per kilogram and the velocity is 90 meter per second. Heat is rejected to the surroundings at the rate of 0.25 kilowatt and the rate of steam flow through the turbine is 0.38 kilogram per second. Calculate the power developed by the turbine. So the given first we will write the given data. Pressure P1 is given which is 13.8 bar. This is the condition at the inlet of the turbine. This is the block diagram of the turbine which at the inlet of the turbine we have the pressure specific volume specific internal energy and velocity values and again at outlet we have pressure specific volume specific internal energy and velocity in this case the elevation is same for the inlet and outlet meaning that if we take this as a reference line or datum line so for the inlet this will be z1 and this will be z2 so in this case z1 is equal to z2 so the elevation is negligible in this case similarly specific volume value is 0 0.143 cubic meter per kilogram I, I have also mentioned these values over here. These are the condition at inlet and these are the condition at outlet. Similarly, specific internal energy U1, small u1 is equal to 2590 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of velocity at inlet is 30 meter per second. Similarly at outlet of the turbine we have pressure P2 which is 0 0.35 bar. Expansion occurs inside the turbine that's why pressure decreases from 13.8 bar to 0 0.35 bar. Specific volume increases which has the value of 4.5 37 cubic meter per kilogram as the expansion takes place inside the turbine so the specific volume increases. Specific internal energy at the exit of the turbine is 2360 kilojoule per kilogram. The value of specific internal energy decreases from 2590 to 2360 kilojoule per kilogram because heat is converted to work output or power output as a result the value of u decreases 
C2 is 90 meter per second. The velocity increases from 30 meter per second to 90 meter per second while pressure drop occurs. So this is the given data and also we have given that the heat rejected to the surrounding is actually Q dot and it is equal to 0 0.25 kilowatt. Mass flow rate is also given through the turbine which is 0 0.38 kilogram per second. We are required to find the power developed by the turbine which is W dot. In this problem we are interested to find the value of power developed that is W dot. So for the solution of this problem we can use and apply the steady flow energy equation as it is already given in the problem statement that we have steady flow conditions. So we can apply the steady flow energy equation for this specific problem. So the form which we can use the steady flow energy equation for the solution of this problem is mentioned above that is m dot into u1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1g plus p1 v1 plus q dot plus w dot is equal to m dot into u2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2 g plus p2 v2. In this problem z1 is equal to z2 so this term will be cancelled. So rearranging this equation to find the value of W dot R Q dot plus W dot is equal to M dot into U2 minus U1 plus M dot P2 V2 minus P1 V1 plus M dot C2 square by 2 minus C1 square by 2. So if we look to the expression M dot is common in these terms. So we can take this M dot common from these terms again writing it for W dot that is we are interested to find the value of W dot and it is equal to M dot into U2 minus U1 plus P2 V2 minus P1 V1 plus C2 square by 2 minus C1 square by 2 
minus q dot this is the heat rejected so heat rejected it is output from the system so there will be minus sign with this value now putting the values in this expression w dot is equal to m dot is 0 0.38 the value of u2 is 2360 kilojoule per kilogram u1 is 2590 plus p2 is 0 0.35 bar so converting it to pascal you will multiply it in this power 5 into V2 is specific volume which is 4.37 cubic meter per kilogram minus P1 is 13.8 bar converting bar into Pascal also the value of V1 is 0 0.1437 one four three cubic meter per kilogram plus the value of C two is ninety so ninety square minus thirty square C one is thirty divided by two so minus also we have minus q dot so minus q dot value is minus 0 0.0 writing it inside the bracket so its value is 0 0.25 kilowatt so Simplifying these values, the value of W dot comes out minus one zero two point eight kilowatt. The value of W dot has also minus sign over here it means that this is the power output from the system or it is the power developed from the turbine so we can write that power output or power developed is basically 102.8 kilowatt so this is the solution of problem 1.13 in which we are required to find the value of power developed which is 102.8 kilowatt. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.